Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I want to show you how to make Twixer clips or slow motion clips for your edit or AMVs. This method can be used either for animes, movies, gameplays, trailers and anything else. Before we continue to this tutorial, I want to show you some of my edits that I use this method with. So the first example is League of Legends edit that I made it from KDA trailer. <laughs> As you can see, that was quite the smoothest Twixer or slow motion clip that I ever made. I will put that edit link in video right now. You can click it and watch it for yourself. Go ahead and install Twixer Pro on your After Effects. After that, put your clips together in timeline like this and synchronize it with that beat that is on your audio. So as you can see, I just chose my clip for the edit. Press Ctrl, Alt and T for the time remap you can zoom in for better view so right now you're gonna press add keyframe for the first frame you need to find another movement for it for example in this in this clip irelia just moves after one frame so you're gonna mark that after that there is no movement as you can see right now there is no movement on the second frame so we go another frame yeah after two frames irelia makes and move so you're gonna frame that too. Just like this, you need to continue. Yeah. On the day that you were born, angels got together and decided to create a dream come true. So they sprinkled the Yeah, just like that. After you marked every frame of your favorite character, you need to zoom in more and put all these frames together one by one. For example, this one needs to go here, this one here, this one at here, just like this. Just like me, they long to be close to you. Yeah. After this, you need to right click on it and press pre compose. And you need to check this part, but not this one, okay? Especially when you're on the second bit of your music. Just don't press adjust composition during to the time span of the selected layers. Just don't do that. Press OK. And now, here is the magic gonna work. Search on your effects and presets tab, the Twixer Pro. And put it on your first layer. Uncheck this FPS and put it on 60 or whatever you want. I especially make it 60 to the better smoothness. But you can do whatever you want. For example, 30 or whatever. Go to the warping section and press forward. The way that I make my Twixers are a little bit different than other YouTubers. I just don't make velocity or whatever, but you can use velocity. Go one frame backwards and press on the stopwatch right here. So you go one frame forward to the screen that it's play and make it 120. We want to make the first half of the clip to move fast and the other half to make it slow motion. I think 120 is enough, but if you want, uh, you can go more of it. For example, 150 or 180 or something like that. But I prefer 120. After you've done that, the clip will move so fast. And in the place that you want to make it slow motion, go one frame backwards and go to the next frame and make this speed to 7 or 3 if you want it depends on how much slow motion you need so now let's check how it is yeah as you can see it's a cool slow motion For example, this Evelyn shot from the trailer doesn't have any movements that are crazy or something and it's really smooth. This scene with Evelyn is clear too and it really looks amazing. Another point that I need to mention is that if your shot uh, includes raining or other faces like these people in the background, uh, yeah, like this, if you want to make this shot to a uh, trickster, you need to keyframe the character, not the rain movements, okay? If you select the raining parts and keyframe them, it's really gonna look so bad and ugly. For example, it, it is gonna glitch or stop moving and it's not good, okay? Just try to keyframe your character and that's it. 
so guys that was the tutorial i hope you liked it don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos also don't forget to check out my newest edits hope you like it see you next time